Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok as El Ducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoy this video. Today, I am back with a massive Goodwill outlet haul. It's so big that I'm not gonna be able to get all of it in this one video. I spent a lot of time at the Goodwill outlet last week and I picked up well over 300 pounds of clothing and some hard goods, but mostly clothing <laughs> and no shoes. I don't think I got any shoes. Lots of clothing is the bottom line and I wanted to share it all with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first things that I wanted to show you is some Target merchandise. If you have ever shopped at a Goodwill, you may or may not have noticed that they get a lot of items from Goodwill, from, excuse me, from Target. And so anyways, there was bins and bins and bins full of Target merchandise and it's not exactly what I'm looking for when I go to the outlet. However, I am not too good for it and I definitely picked up some stuff. So let me just show you that first. If you don't wanna see the Target stuff, I'll put little chapters or timestamps down below and you can just skip ahead. So with that said, I'll show you the hard goods part first of the Target haul. Oh my God, big bag. Okay, so I grabbed this and at first I grabbed it for my son, but maybe I'll just resell it. I don't know what to do with this. It's some sort of on the go bag. It's like activities your kids can do while traveling or in the car or at home. I don't know, I thought it was fun. Maybe it would still be fun. There's like origami and stuff in here. I used to do, do origami as a child. I took Japanese lessons, fun fact. Moving on, I picked, oh my gosh. I don't want this bag to spill. I picked up this floaty. I personally purchased one of these before, so these are not necessarily cheap. In my experience, oh, here's a price tag, that's helpful. What, I was gonna say, I paid like $30. This one says $31.99. It was marked down on clearance to $9.59 and then went to the outlet. This is actually super cozy, so if you need a swim pool float, I mean, you could buy one from me, but you could also just buy one in general. These ones are awesome. So yeah, pick that up. I also grabbed a bunch of goggles. Uh, the day that I was there at the outlet, this is kind of like a mix of a few different hauls, but the day that I picked up these, my friend Frances was at the bin, so Frances, if you're watching, hello. She picked up a bunch of these as well, but they're Speedo brand goggles, and they're good. I don't know, Speedo was a good brand when I was younger. I think it's still a good brand. These are child size, and they're ages three to eight. So anyways, I have those another pair, another pair. I swear there was more, but maybe it's in my other bag. So at least four pairs of those. Those will be, I like selling small items. And so I get stoked over items like this because you just like take a picture of the front, take a picture of the back and put it into inventory. Super simple. Um, for things like this, the clearance stickers, I don't leave them on here. These are originally $15, just for reference. I don't leave them on here. I actually use a heat gun, which I don't have one here to show you, but I'll link one down in the description if you're interested. You could also use a hairdryer. I like the heat gun because it is like a targeted nozzle just right on this area, but put a little bit of heat on here for 20 or 30 seconds, just depending on the adhesive. And then it'll lift up pretty nicely without having to like scrape. So, okay. Other stuff that they had a ton of, this was ridiculous, you guys. So much sunscreen. Now, you can't see all of them, but here, I grabbed tons of them. Here's more, here's more. I don't even know how many I have in here, maybe 20 bottles, but there was, ew, a hair. Um, there was easily, uh, if I had to guess, there was probably like 400 in the bins. There was at least two bins that had so much sunscreen. I wish I could have taken it all, and it was hard to know in that moment whether I should have taken them all. I didn't. Maybe I should have, <laughs> I just grabbed a few. So maybe I'll keep some and sell some. However, I did check the dates on the bottom because sunscreen does have an expiration date. And out of all things in life, sunscreen, I don't wanna go past the expiration date, right? So these ones were June, 2025. So we're solid, that's all of next year up until beginning of next summer. And then these kids ones are July, 2024. So. Maybe I'll sell those ones because we don't get a lot of sun here in the Pacific Northwest. So between now and July, I don't know. Might not be so useful for, for me. Okay, so a bunch of these. This was also just random. I saw it in one of the bins and I was like, yoink. 
but it is like a small little Lego activity set and it is Frozen. My son loved Frozen when he was younger. <laughs> yeah, he was Olaf, I think one year for Halloween. So cute. Okay, we're gonna set these down here. More Target stuff here. Okay. I, like I have so much of it, it's literally falling everywhere, you guys. Okay, other things that I grabbed that aren't clothing related. Oh, there was bins and bins and bins of a lot of stuff from the, what is it called? Ta Target dollar spot? Yeah. So it was a lot of back to school stuff. Um, the person that I talked to at the outlet said that the Target stuff didn't go to the regular Goodwills because the Goodwills had too much stuff. Shocker. And so it was coming straight to the outlet. So we were seeing stuff that kind of was like in season as opposed to like maybe being a few months off. So it was all this back to school stuff, like notebooks and um, what else? A lot of notebooks, just uh, decorations for the teachers to decorate their classrooms. The sad thing is, is that unfortunately, if those don't, items don't sell at the outlet, um, they're probably just going to go to the landfill. Uh, I've seen item them dump the bins into garbage containers, not not the Gaylord pallets to be repurposed and sent other where or other places actually like waste treatment companies. So anyways, um, it's kind of sad to see it there. I'd love to see it just go directly to schools, but whatever. <laughs> I did pick up this post-it super sticky thingy. I will have no purpose for this because I'm not organized enough to make something like this work in my life, but I thought I could resell it. So there's that. There was somebody, one of the days that I was at the outlet, who he walked next to me because there was a big thing of probably like 50 college rule notebooks. Um, he stood next to me and he said, you know, I'm going to grab those. My wife is a teacher. So I was so happy to see that. Um, and I hope they gave him a good price once he got to the front because those are heavy and everything's by the pound. Um, so yeah, I hope they gave him a good price. Okay, next item is this it's not a super soaker because I don't know if they make super soaker brand stuff anymore, but it's some sort of, you know what I mean, water gun toy thing. Grabbed that. Um, also grabbed this pipeline sprinkler. I do have some children in my life, so maybe I'll send this to like other than my child. <laughs> maybe I'll send this to them. There were so many slip and slides and all that sort of stuff. Um, but again, it's kind of coming to the end of the season on people needing or wanting needs a strong word so I'm gonna say wanting that sort of stuff anyway I also got look at this this tumbler it's huge uh what size I would like 40 30 ounces 30 ounce Zach design insulated tumbler 20 hours of cold four hours of hot it just set the bin so I bought it um I'll probably sell it mostly because if you ask my husband he will say I already have too many tumblers so that means I don't get to keep it I thought about keeping these. It's just a paddle ball set, but it's kind of fun. Look at this. Is it gonna do it? Oh, you can't really see it that well, but it's lighting up in the middle. Oh, there you go. Okay, very satisfying. Uh, <laughs> I thought about keeping it, but of all the things I have in life, I don't know if I need to keep that. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, these, how fun are these? Actually, there was another set of these. So I got two sets of these. The and you know, if you've ever bought these before, they're kind of pricey. You can get them cheaper on other places, but in stores, they sell them for a lot of money. Oh, I did buy this. I'll keep this one, big spender. This is a Thanksgiving table mat where you can like draw, do, uh, what's it called? Tic-tac-toe or different stuff like that. So anyways, that will be on my Thanksgiving table. Now you know what sort of Thanksgiving hostess I am to have that on my table. <laughs> and... Okay, so the rest of this bag is, and there's more of it. It's literally falling everywhere. Hold, please. Let me grab some. Okay, there's some here and some here. There is so much Target swimsuits. So when they rolled the bin out in front of me, I was kind of looking at it confused, like, what? I don't know. I don't know. Do I need Target swimsuits? So once they said, you know, we could start shopping, I just went like this. I mean, that's what everybody does there. So don't, don't think I was just taking everything for myself. It's like a madhouse. So I just went like this and hugged it to my body and then dumped it in my cart. I, I'm kind of thinking of just doing like maybe boxes of swimsuits 
and maybe other people could, you know, sell them off. I just don't know if I want to dedicate all the time to selling all of these tops and bottoms. I mean, you know, originally $18, originally $15. I mean, you know, it's Target stuff, so you know the price on this, $18, $20. So what do you think about that? I may already have had this posted or like do something with them by the time I post this video. If that's the case, well, maybe next time. <laughs> but I, that's my plan. So yeah, I don't even know how many pounds this is, but it's a lot of Target swimsuits. I mean, when I tell you there's so much of that Target, I don't wanna call it junk, but just stuff, overproduction, it's wild. Okay, moving on. I think there might be a few more Target items just like mixed in here, but I want to move on. So next I have this Torrid bomber jacket. Look how cute this is. I'm not going to fully put it on. <gasps> Whoa. -oh. I'm like, that would be real cute on me. How fun is this? Gold sequins. It's a size two, which is their vanity sizing. So that's going to be a two X. I love picking up Target. I will not stop doing it. I will continue to pick up Target items, not Target, Torrid. Okay, next is some sort of wool coat. Okay, made in Italy, already a good sign. Satin line, this is Lanvin Paris. Ooh, I can't remember the comps on it, but I know it's good. I remembered that it was a good brand, so I said, I'm gonna grab it. Um, pure cashmere, it does say that in Italian, but, and I think it's in good condition. I didn't see any, um, what is it called, moth holes? moth what is it when it when something's in your your closet too long <laughs> so anyways I grabbed this I don't know if it's a women's or a men's but it's really soft it's in nice condition so that was an exciting find okay what else do we have oh my gosh another huge bag here okay so this is I think these bags off the top of my head it's a lot of uh new attack or dry clean only items because all the stuff that I still was washing and sorting through was upstairs in my house. So that's a lot of what you're gonna see here today. Okay, this is some sort of super cute polka dot skirt. It is Lane Bryant. There's the tag there. Uh, size 1820. How fun is that? Real cute. All right, I'm gonna toss this here. I had to move some stuff out of the way. We're gonna move that stuff there. I'm trying to have a system while I do this. Okay, I think this was in the Target merchandise. If, I was gonna say, if I found more of this, I can't remember if this bin was full of active wear or not originally. I kind of cherry picked it. I was like, I don't know if I want everything in there. So anyways, I did grab these. It's Joy Lab, which is Target's women's, one of their active wear brands. These are a size large. I just thought the print was really fun. I am gonna remove the clearance sticker there with the heat gun. So I'm gonna set that to the side. This was so adorable, I had to grab it. Little Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, Christmas sweatshirt. I kind of want to send it to my friend Tiffany's baby, but her baby is a baby. And this is <laughs> probably like a size, well, it says kids small. So it's probably like a seven or something like that. I have no perspective on when I buy this sort of stuff. Like, hey, that might not fit right now. I just keep buying it. Cause I'm like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. these. I thought about keeping for myself, but maybe I'll sell them. They're a size 1X uh, women's Disney, what do you want to call them? Fleece pajama bottoms. Again, don't know if this came as a set. No, okay, it says family pant, <laughs> pajama pant family sleep. Why, why is there family in it? That feels weird. Like, is your whole family wearing them? I don't know, that feels odd. Whatever, okay, toss those there. This is a Madewell dress. Uh, it's actually in really nice condition. It's a size small and it's linen. It's got this embroidery here, um, kind of right by the, what, did, what would you call that? Like shoulder seam and then embroidery down the front and some piped across the bottom. It's navy blue. Uh, yeah, I like finding Madewell. I like selling it. I don't know, some people get weird about that stuff and they're like, oh, I don't like to sell that anymore. There's never a brand that I don't like to sell. <laughs> Okay, next is, that's not true, but um, a pair of Express pants. These are new with tags, so there we go. Here's a brand that I don't seek out, um, but because it is new with tags and just the pants in general, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a second, that's why I picked it up. 
they do feel super soft. I was gonna say, are these cashmere? But it's just rayon, nylon, and polyester. Originally retail for $88. The pockets are turned inside out, so that's why it looks funky. They're a little, um, how do I say it, hairy? So I need to lint roll those. <laughs> okay, another new tag item. This is the brand Eva Rose. I'm not familiar with this one. Sorry, I'm just reading the tag real quick. Cotton span, yeah, cotton and spandex. Okay, anyways, here's what the tag looks like, but it's just such a beautiful print and it's kind of like a heavier fabric that I thought, okay, well, nice construction on here. So Eva Rose, do you guys know where this is sold? And it's new with a tag, like a handwritten tag. Maybe it's just like a boutique brand. And I think it has pockets. So that's why I grabbed it. If it's good, it's that's great. Wonderful, that's just a bonus. I, but you know, sometimes you gotta pick something up for style. My two cents there. Okay, this, I don't, oh yeah, I know what this is. This is a men's brand, Robert Graham. I've actually never found Robert Graham pants. Have you? I've never. Well, hold the phone. These say size eight, so that would indicate that they're women's, correct? So I guess they're women's pants. Maybe I've sold women's Robert Graham items. Wow, I'm just surprising myself here. Anyways, I typically find their button down shirts with the flip cuff. You know, I, I talked about it in my last video. I referred to it as um, male, peacock, male peacocking. That's what they call it. <laughs> I heard that term recently in a Project Runway episode, which is where men wear outfits that kind of are a little bit bolder, you know, which don't always happen in men's fashion. You know, you see runway carpets and it's just men wearing um, tuxedos, you know, not a lot of color. Okay, this brand I looked up and I don't know if this was a great pickup or not. I'm kind of taking a chance. It's called L'Atelier. There's no um, like uh, punctuation in here to, to say that it would be pronounced differently. But if you know that it's pronounced differently, please spell it phonetically down in the comments. I would appreciate that. It just kind of felt nicer. It's a corduroy skirt. It is lined on the inside. The tag looks a little fancy. It says latillierstore.com. I went, <laughs> I got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I went to their website and I don't know. I was kind of like, no, it's a little bit of a gamble, but sometimes that's how you get experience with some brands, you know? People call it paying for their education. So let's call it that for me. Uh, made well skirt, uh, nothing crazy or special. Just a cute little size four skirt, mini skirt. Okay, next is a sweater. And this one is an uh, Aran sweater market, Aran Islands, Ireland. <laughs> Aran Islands, Ireland, that's a tongue twister. It's 100% wool and then it does have, I think a leather or like suede, which is, right, that's leather. Um, shoulder patches on the top here. I have picked up these Irish wool sweaters in the past. I believe this is a men's and they can be a good pickup, right? Good for good resale. Always good to check the brands because people sell a variety of different types of the Irish wool sweaters. So just make sure the one that you're picking up, that brand is something that people are looking for. I don't know if this was in the Target stuff, but I did grab it. It's a women's swimsuit. It's a size 22W and it's got, um, what do you call this, shearing on the side here. And here's the tags. It still has a little protective thing in the crotch area. Nice condition. You know, I know that summer is coming to an end, but I sell on eBay, which means that I ship internationally. And I believe that in our winter time, it is Australia's summertime. So I'm happy to sell that swimsuit to someone in Australia. <laughs> They're interested. Okay, next up, it, this must have been in the same bin. Somebody's texting me. I'm like, who is it? Um, <laughs> This item is another new Tag Express item, and they're a size extra large, stretchy lady pants. I don't think these ones we need to be lint rolled too bad. Mm, maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side. So again, because it was new Tags, that kind of that drew me in. Next, I've got another new Tag item. These are a pair of Hurley swim shorts. These are a 20 inch length and a 34 waist. There you have them. Again, I'm happy to sell to anybody in sunnier weather or climates. Come on over. I've got all the swimsuits you may or may not want. 
This was so cute, I couldn't leave it behind, guys. <laughs> it's um, the children's place, and it is new with tags. It's a size eight. Oh, again, not necessarily a fall and winter item. So, you know, check back with me in like six months and I'll tell you that I regretted purchasing it because I still have it. <laughs> okay, next is a joie dress. If I can figure this out, I think it ties, yeah, at the neck up here. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side so I can tie it later. But you get the idea. It's like a halter neckline. Really pretty print on here. I mean, this feels like you should be going to like Greece like Mykonos and wearing this. And I do pick up Joie. I don't know where it's sold these days, to be honest with you. I'm almost a little concerned that it's sold uh, at, I don't wanna say like lower end stores, but you know what I'm saying? Like, whereas if it's been sold at Nordstrom before, do they now sell it directly to TJ Maxx, for instance, like a diffusion line of Joie? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me Joie was sold at Costco now. I don't know, I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, <laughs> next I have this. Eileen Fisher, I don't know if this is a faux suede, but it kind of feels like it, uh, jacket. It's a size extra small, very cute. I was trying to see if this was a stain, but it's actually just a little piece of lint and it is 100% goat suede. It's always interesting when they get really specific on the types of leathers, but that's fine. Why not, right? Okay, let me just show you what it looks like. This is really pretty lime color. Nice, all right, it's got pockets in the front. Uh, I really love selling Eileen Fisher. You know, if there was a brand or a style of clothing that I could sell for eternity, it would be uh, like Lag & Look style. So if I've talked about it before, if you're not familiar with Lag & Look, just type it into eBay, type in L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K and sort by high to low in terms of pricing. And you'll really see all these different brands that sell for a ton of money. Some you might be familiar with like Magnolia Pearl is gonna be uh, an obvious one. What's the other one? Is it Eskandar? Am I pronouncing that incorrectly? Anyways. Those are two that are going to sell for quite a bit of money, but there might be other ones that you are like, oh wow, I've seen that before. So good one to learn. Okay, next is, it's just a new Attack sports bra. So <laughs> I've picked this up before. I remember because of the name, it's called Hey Nuts. <laughs> so this is a sports bra, it's a B through D cup. I don't know. Somebody always needs a sports bra. It's new with tags. It's in good condition. I saved it from the bins, guys. Okay, this, I'm not going to undo the whole thing. And to be honest, I'm not going to really look it up. So whatever this is, if anybody wants to look this up and tell me, hey, that's not so bad. X-I or one? X-I-X palms. It says style throw blanket with tassel. You know what? We're going to come to find out. This, it'll probably have been in like a fab fit fun box. You know, those will trick you. You gotta be real careful. Cause I feel like there's been like, show me your moo moo, spiritual gangster, lots of other stuff that's gone through that FabFitFun box. And don't get me wrong, I love a FabFitFun box, but the truth is, is that the items that they put in there, because it's getting sent out to so many people, it for that specific style of that item, it just pushes down the value of it to really almost nothing. Next, we have a wild fox sweater. Um, here is what the front looks like. It's got these little faux pearls kind of decorated all over it throughout the sleeves and then a big open V-back, so very sexy. Um, I don't know, something that would be nice probably for the holidays. Toss that there. Okay, next is Loeffler Randall. I have not, I don't even know if I've picked up Loeffler Randall clothing before. I feel like it's been shoes or accessories. Do they make shoes and accessories? So this is my first time for like finding a top or a piece of clothing item. This feels like silk, I am correct. It's 100% silk and oh gosh, what size is it? I know that sometimes I say the sizes and I'm better at that other times than yeah, size eight, so there's that. <laughs> if you're ever interested in purchasing anything from me, my email is usually down in the description of the videos. Okay, next is a brand that is new to me. I did comp this and it was worth me bringing home, but it's Soya and Kayo, and it's just a wool coat. This is a size extra small, um, but it's in great condition. It's got these leather, I think it's real leather, um, cutouts here on the sleeve. And yeah, I don't know, it was just cute, so why not? I'm gonna set that right there. 
What is this? I know I say that for everything, but I'm like, what is... <laughs> Does anyone else get bins amnesia, like, or thrift store amnesia? Like, the minute you leave, you're like, what did I buy? Did I even buy anything? Did I get anything good? You could have found, like, the most amazing stuff, and then you leave, and you're like, I have no idea what I just purchased. That sounds really bad. That sounds like somebody who has a problem. <laughs> okay, next is this Gap dress. Again, Gap is one of those, you know, mall brands that it's like, mm, I'm probably not gonna pick that up, but because it was new with tags, originally $59.99, which says under this clearance tag here, I did, I did grab it. Why not? What size is it? Oh, extra small. I was like, that's kind of cute. <laughs> but I'm gonna remove that clearance tag. Okay, next. I grabbed, you know what? These ones, I think somebody gave to me. In fact, there should, there might be some pieces in here that some new friends that I met at the bins recently, hello if you're watching, um, gave me some items and I always appreciate that. It's so very nice. Um, I never expect it and so it's always so kind. Um, yeah, so thank you. Anyway, somebody gave me these ones? Yes, yeah, because they're new with tags. These are a pair of REI pants, size six. Actually, the person who gave me these, if I'm remembering correctly, had said, <laughs> we were digging in a bin, they were like, I just watched your video this morning and I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, well, thank you. And they said, yeah, I was looking for inspiration or something like that. And I was like, well, how did it work? And then they pointed over to their cart and they had a big mountain of clothes. So I said, hey, give me some of that inspiration back because I could use it. <laughs> but it ended up being a great fruitful day. That's the thing, everybody wins at the bins. Everybody wins at the bins. That's fun. Okay, that's actually a lot of fun. Okay, next I have, this is a new to me brand, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty interesting on the comps. It's Tia Chibani. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. To be honest, I don't know if these are men's or women's pants. I'm, I was gonna say I'm guessing they're men's, but it says size eight, so wouldn't that imply women's? We can also tell by the pocket. I don't know, it's a deep pocket, so that kind of makes me think it's men's. But here's what they look like, kind of fun. I don't know, Tia Chibani. If you're in front of your computer, if you're maybe drafting some listings, I know sometimes people draft listings while they watch videos. Let me know in the comments if you are one of them people. Uh, type it into Terapeak on eBay or type it into anywhere that you look up comps. Okay, another, ooh, this is cute. Wait a minute. Another dress that I picked up, this is Old Navy. Again, this would file under one of those brands that it's like, okay, well, you know, if it's the right piece, I'll grab it. Um, but it is new with tags. It's a size extra large shirt dress. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, it is a size that would fit on me, but it's got these cutouts here on the side. And like, I'm just not comfortable in that way to, to explore showing my, my sides. So yeah, we're going to say no to that. Okay, next we have another bag. Oh my God, <laughs> here it is. So I've got this big old bag. When I was leaving the outlet and somebody had seen that this was like zipped up and I was wearing it as a backpack, they stopped me and they're like, where'd you get that? <laughs> Ikea. Um, but you can also just buy off-brand bags of these at Amazon. So that's an option. Okay, next is a gunny sacks. What? But not the not the prairie dresses. <laughs> this one is more, I think it's like an 80s or 90s style. It is Jessica McClintock gunny sacks, size three, four. But I just, I don't know. I was like, this is kind of cool. I kind of like it. There's the little bow here up at the top. And then look at this color block panel that goes down the front. I, I mean, it's not really, it's not Y2K in my opinion. It's not, is it? But I just thought it kind of, I don't know. I was like, that's, if I had a daughter who was going to a dance, I'd be like, uh, that, that dress is kind of amazing. Tell me if you feel the same. Okay, this feels new. Like, look at, it's like folded up. It feels pressed, it feels new. Adidas, little beanie. If I could get my son to wear a hat at winter time, I would have just saved it for him. But does anybody else's kid not like wearing hats? My child is not into it. So moving on, um, we have a pair of pants from the brand Eleven Seas, and they do sell this at Anthropology. Anthro, um, a lot of people will say that they don't pick it up anymore. That is great. Shout out to those people who do not pick it up anymore and saving it for the people who do pick it up still. <laughs> so these are size four. They're really cute actually. It's like a floral print. I like to call these like flowy lady, 
flowy lady pants um, because that's what they feel like. It's just a, a flowy lady pant. All right, toss that in there. This, again, somebody else gave this to me at the outlet. Um, it's a Peloton shirt and, or tank, size large. You know, Peloton a few years ago, this was $54 in case you're curious. Peloton items sold for a lot a few years ago. It's not that they can't or don't sell for a lot of money now. I think there are probably some pieces that still sell for a lot. Uh, so always check comps. Don't just assume like, oh, I'll just price it at 20 bucks. Some, place, some pieces might sell for a lot of money. I don't know about that one, but I'll be happy if it does. Okay, next, I'm pretty sure this is, okay, I'm pretty sure this is the brand Worth. I mean, it says it on there, I get it. But the tag just looks different than what I'm used to when I've seen and sold this brand. I don't even know how you're supposed to wear this. Do you go here? Do you go here? I mean, it's some sort of corset type thing. I need to figure it out before I leave it for my photographer because they're going to be like, what is this? Uh, but worth is worth comping. <laughs> it was new to me. The first time I found it was at the Seattle bins, downtown Seattle bins. And I came across like, I don't even know, probably like five or six pieces in one bin to the point that I was like, Oh, give it to me. Uh, and other people were like, here you go. They didn't want it. So great. I love taking it off your hands. Okay, next is a pair of Airy shorts. Airy would be a line of American Eagles clothing. These are a size large, $39.95, cut off, pull on, elastic waist shorts. Again, we're leaving that season, but it's always sunny somewhere. Okay, next is a really cute skirt. I wanna say it's Madewell. No, okay. I thought, I was like, maybe this is Madewell. No, it's Ann Taylor. So this would be like one of those items that I'm like, okay, wait, this is actually really cute. Let me pick this up. Even though I don't typically pick up Ann Taylor, um, you know, exceptions can always be made. I'm trying to figure out how you tie this. <laughs> and I don't do a nice bow. And I know that there's lots of videos out there that you can watch where people teach you how to tie a nice bow. And I'm just so darn stubborn that I haven't watched said videos. I've had plenty of opportunities. Oh my gosh, my bow is so ugly. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, okay, maybe I should take that bow learning class. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but anyways, I thought the skirt was really cute. It feels like it might be linen. It looks like it's linen, so maybe. Okay, next is, oh, new tags, Pilcro from Anthropology, Pilcro and the Letterpress. I don't know if they're just going by Pilcro now because that's what it says on there. US, $98. I'm pretty sure this is linen. It's actually really cute. If, you know, I always, oh, size extra large? We, no, no. <laughs> it's the, definitely the wrong size, but I always say, if my mom watched my videos, she would be like, give me that, I want it. Okay, next is an Old Navy dress. I feel like I remember seeing these on the website. They're really cute. I don't know if this has shorts built into it. Negative. It is new with tags, so that's why I grabbed it. It's a size medium tall. I do appreciate seeing stuff being made for tall people. I am by no means like a really tall person, but I am on the border of 5'6 and 5'7, and I have a long torso, and having a long torso can sometimes make finding garments difficult, so. Shout out to companies that make tall items. Okay, I, I think this is some sort of vintage. It just kind of reminded me of dresses that um, brands like Reformation try and copy. So the brand is Nina Piccolino and it's 100% rayon, but I just thought this was so pretty. Just a little yellow sundress. I don't know, maybe I could put cottage core in the title and it will get a little traction because of that. Next is some sort of sports bra from, oh, Halara. Okay, so this was fun seeing this because I had seen another Halara piece recently, new with tags, in the bins. But when they said go, um, somebody grabbed it and I didn't get to get it. Okay, here we go. The, the back, yes, cute, sexy. Here's the front and then I'm guessing this ties around your waist, something like that. Okay, 
Um, I'm gonna set that to the side. What is Hilara South for though? That's the million dollar question. I know it got popular for a little while there, but what's it actually selling for these days? Okay, this is a Torrid new with tag, question mark, item, some sort of camisole. It's a size four. The tag though does look like they re-ticketed it in store, but it does say Torrid on the other side. So I'm gonna remove the little clearance part of that ticket. Okay, next is, oh, okay, these are cute. Hold on, hold please. Uh, this is the brand Express, but it's um, a vintage Express piece, you know, where it says like, can't come, <laughs> <"Camp> <laughs> whatever. It's like Campaign International, basically, it's what it is. But there is the tag, and it's their size extra small. I'm guessing they're rayon, they feel like rayon, flowy lady pants. I just love these so much. I love finding, oh, it's just polyester, but I love finding those Vintage Express pieces. I think they're so beautiful. Okay, next is this Vince sweater. Somebody gave me this also. There is a hole here on the back, but, and some on the front. I don't know. I, you know, I say, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Against my better judgment, I still pick these items up. My friend Liz, who does um, repair work for me here at the warehouse. Hi Liz, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe see if you wanna sew those holes. Liz does such a great job. Why would I not ask her? So, love Liz. Okay, next is, look how cute this is. I don't think this is gonna fit my friend Tiffany's baby though because I think he's getting too big for this sort of outfit. It's, I'm sure this had to be in that Target stuff, is my thought. Hold on, the size tag is all the way down in here. I don't know, you guys, it says, 60, 70, oh, six, I think it's six to nine months. Okay, it says it kind of in there. Um, that's gonna be a no, so we're selling it now. I'll throw that down there. Okay, next is, oh, this jacket is so nice. Okay, it's Mark New York, which eh, it retails for a good amount of money, resale, question mark. So Mark New York, but I think this is a faux leather. It feels like faux leather. Yeah, polyurethane but pebbled leather jacket. And I just thought, okay, this is perfect for fall. While this might not be my size, just to give you an idea. <laughs> I can't even give you an idea. Look, here's a one shoulder idea. But I just thought it was so cute. Somebody needs to wear this with a pair of jeans. How fun is that? This time of year, I'm definitely looking for, you know, those fall staples that people like, you know, a blazer, a leather jacket, uh, or faux leather jacket. Uh, what else? Boots. Those would be things that, you know, if I think of like Pinterest boards, you know, some just classic pieces that people like to wear. Okay, next I have this Madewell dress, size zero. And yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have much to add on it. <laughs> it's just a Madewell dress. It's cute though. Yeah, it's real cute. Whoever gets it. Okay, this is adorable. Again, a piece that is too large for my friend Tiffany's baby, but how cute is this? It's Disney Cars movie, I think. And I have no, oh, size five, six. Yeah, we're a while, we're a ways from there. I do pick up Disney items because you never know what sort of Disney pieces are gonna sell really well. So I try and stick with Disney store or uh, Disney parks. So if you see those sort of things, maybe comp them. Okay, next I have this, oh, Older tag free people, check out that one. So there's the, the tag there. This is a size, I can't tell. It looks like it says six, but this is real pretty. Isn't that cute? Is it a romp? I was like, is this a romper? Cause I'm gonna like, okay. I was gonna say, whoa. Uh, love it, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Next I have a dress, is this? Yep, ASTR. So I talked about this brand, I feel like in my last video, they do sell it on Revolt, so yeah, for whatever that's worth, it's got these cool lace-ups here on the side, and it's a size medium, in case you're curious, and I do believe it's some sort of linen. It might just be linen, or it's a linen blend. Next we have, I think this is Free People, sweater, cardigan. No, just kidding. More of that anthropology people don't like to pick up. This is Angel of the North, it's a size medium, how pretty is this? Once again, I cannot get it on my body, but <laughs> there's what it looks like. Oh, it's really cute. 
Okay, there's a couple of loose threads here. So I'll probably, I'm gonna trim some of those up. Don't worry, I won't mess with it too much. Okay, next is a Patagonia. Somebody's like pounding. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Sounds like someone's in the wall. <laughs> a Patagonia uh, sweater. I think this is, it's either cashmere or wool and there are some holes in that. So I'm gonna have to attend to that. Uh, don't know what size it is. So we're gonna put that over there. Next is a pair of Marmot shorts. That is what the tag looks like. It is new with tag, question mark. Somebody just took a bite of the tags. So there's that. In terms of sizing, size two? I don't know though. I don't know about that. Doesn't that look, uh, is that like a two women's? I mean, that looks really, really small. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna set that to the side because I don't know if that's a women's or if it's a child. Okay, next is a Cynthia Rowley dress. It's new with tags. Yes, it was at Marshall's, which I'm gonna cut this tag off. And by cut, I mean rip. Uh, but it's just it's just a cute dress. I'm, I picked it up still, you know? Exceptions can always be made. So here's what it looks like. Maxi, flowy lady dress. I actually love this. This would probably feel amazing to wear at like a summer barbecue, like in the evening, once it's cooled down a little bit. Okay, next we have some sort of sweater. Oh, Eileen Fisher, love me some Eileen. Size extra, extra small, asymmetrical hem. I mean, it kind of looks bigger than an extra, extra small, but perfect time of the year to sell uh, an Eileen piece. And that felt like, I didn't even look at the fabric content. Felt like there was some like mohair or something in there. This is a torrid swimsuit. It is not new with tags. I had to double check it there. Uh, it's got the swim skirt on the inside here. I'm like, crotch check, question mark. I'm sure I would have washed this. I'm sure I would have washed it. I think I washed it. <laughs> I'll set it to the side and double check. Uh, there is some pilling, but it's just the spandex material. So if you've ever worn a swimsuit in your life, You'll know sometimes when you have this type of material on a swimsuit and you rub up against like the rough side of a pool, like an in-ground pool, it will, it'll do this. It kind of pills on there. Yeah, somebody's on the roof. I feel like somebody's gonna like, no, no, they're not. So I will sweater shave that very, very carefully because that's gonna be very delicate. Okay, next we have some sort of dress. This is an ASOS dress. It is. New with tags, there we go, there's the tag. Um, don't always pick up ASOS, but because this was new with tags and it's so pretty, I did grab it. It's a size six, here's what it looks like. Very specific, very specific style dress. So I don't know who's going where in that, but they're going somewhere. Next I have this Babaton. I think it's a, like a little romper, 100% silk, size small. Black little, black little romper. I'm gonna set that to the side because I'm gonna steam that. This and Babaton is sold at Aritzia if you're not familiar with that. Okay, this, okay, another another tag. Don't freak out. There we go. This is a Lulu's dress coming at ya. It's white, question mark. Oh, I know what's wrong with this. I'm gonna have to set this one to the side for my friend Liz. Hi Liz, if you're watching. The zipper came off the, well, it's all cockeyed. So once we get that fixed, it's gonna be a cute little Lulu's dress. Last but not least, I have some sort of beautiful silk dress. Oh, it's Trina Turk. There's that. This is what it looks like. Okay, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is lovely. I'm looking at it because I'm like, are there snag lines? Like where is the flaw? I don't see any. Size four, really, really cute. I actually wish, hmm. I don't wish I was like necessarily a size four, just cause that proportionally probably would not look good on me. Um, but I wish I had that dress in a size for myself. It just reminds me of Palm Springs and I love Palm Springs so much. If you're not new to my channel, you may have heard me say that like a broken record. So there's part one of my haul. I will be back soon for part two. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.